Hey guys, this is Ben here at Tillmore. Today we are going to instruct you on how to change your acorn nut on your 520 tractor. The reason you would need to change this, possibly your tractor is not starting in the neutral position. Um, so basically, as you see, the seat is not there. Um, we've already removed that, referenced that in another video. But before we get started, we're going to make sure that the battery disconnect switch is in the off position. Um, so basically, before we get started, you're going to want to reach down here and you're going to want to loosen the acorn nut. So later on in the video, we can take it off with our fingers. But <clears throat> to get started, we're going to remove these 5 16 bolts. You will need a wrench on the back side to hold the lock nut. <clears throat> Sometimes these are a little bit difficult to get out, just kind of jiggle it around. Um, and this piece will just roll out of the way. Just like that. Maybe pull this spacer out so we don't lose that. Then we're going to run and remove four of the U-joint bolts. Now we're gonna have to remove this just so we don't drop it and lose it. So now what we're gonna do is we're basically <clears throat> just gonna roll this up out of the way. And our goal is to be able to you kind of pick it up and hold the carriage bolt. So we got, there's two washers and an acorn nut. So there's the acorn nut. We've got our new acorn nut. These washers go in a specific order. The big one goes first. You slide it up on the carriage bolt, hold it the best you can, then take the other one and slide it up on the bolt. And then the key is just to get the acorn nut started just a little bit. Put it on as tight as you can with your fingers, and then we'll tighten it later in the video. But you want to want to grab this piece. It goes underneath. It sits there just like that. You want to grab these small 5 16 bolts. They're fine threaded. I recommend starting all of them with your fingers first. <clears throat> because if you don't, you might get something in a bind, get one cross-threaded, and then that just makes the job even that much longer. So once them are all started, get your impact here, tighten them down in an X pattern so we know that everything gets put on there straight. You want to put your spacer back in. And this here, you're going to want to just kind of roll on. It's a little tricky sometimes. Probably should have grabbed a hammer. And once you get it rolled on like that, these bolts should slide back through. Just like that. Take your lock nuts, put them on the back side. Use a, make sure you hold the nut with the wrench. <clears throat> then what we don't want to forget is to tighten the acorn nut. Make it so it's good and tight. You don't want to over tighten it or it could break it off, but just give it a good pull there. Make sure it's good and tight. And when your shifter is in neutral, you want to make sure that the ball on the end of the sensor is contacting the acorn nut. And there you have it. There's the replacement of your acorn nut. Um, 
If you're still having trouble starting in neutral, the sensor might be out of adjustment, but reference another video for that adjustment procedure. But that's it, guys. That's how you change an acorn nut on your 520 tractor. Make sure, though, it is gets challenging. Sometimes it doesn't go real smooth. Sometimes you got to have patience with this job. But uh, thank you, guys. If there's any other videos you want, uh, please let us know in the comments, and we'll try to get them out. Thank you.